Hey everyone, it's Alicia Toot and welcome back to my universe. In today's video, it is an all new Q&A. You ask the questions, I make a comment. And these were really fun to rifle through. Last time things got a little bit freaky as I answered your bizarre questions and this time it's a really nice mix of light ones, goofy ones, ridiculous ones. So thank you to everybody who submitted their questions. Now before I get to answering, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. There are some awesome new videos coming out. Not only are there fashion vlogs, but there are also going to be brand new movie reviews, fact videos, and interviews with some pretty cool guests. So stay tuned for those. And now it is time to answer your questions. Question number one, favorite song to sing in the shower. For this, it was hard for me to choose. I thought, do I go old school? Do I pick something new? Do I pick a single I've just been spinning nonstop? And I decided to go with the latter. There's a song by Gail called ABCDEFU, cheekiest title and just concept for a song in a very long time. Pop hit, so good. And every time I hear it, even though I'm in such a happy place right now and there's no angst, no heartbreak, none of that shit, this song every time is just such an earworm. And I, I love the feeling of hatred that she has in it for this human being. And maybe that makes me crazy. Maybe it's just a really well-written pop tune, but I love this song. Next, since I've gotten into fitness, what are my favorite and least favorite exercises? What's funny is my least favorite exercises have become my favorites. What I used to hate doing originally, because there are two gyms I go between, uh, one gym, when you do leg press, it's on a sled. And I was always so scared that my legs were gonna bend in and snap, bend and snap. So I was petrified. I did lightweight and I didn't like it. Now at my secondary gym, instead of it being on a sled, it's with the pins it's the machine. So I feel so much safer. And I had a PR the other day of 240 pounds on the leg press machine. And I was so thrilled with myself. That's over half the stack. No big deal. But I was really pumped. It's really cool to set those those records whenever you go in and to see them come up. I don't know. It makes me feel very good. And the other thing I hated doing were crunches. And every time I go in, I find myself doing more and more because I like the results. So next up, can you do a backflip? No. Abby is asking if I have any pets. I do have a pet. So growing up, I had two fur babies, Emma and Ollie. Sadly, whoa, I got emotional. <laughs> Sadly, they are no longer with us. I miss them dearly. We're coming, ooh, fuck, ooh. I'm not good now. We're coming up on the one year anniversary of Ollie's passing, so that's not been so easy. And they were my life. I just loved them so, so much. And now that they are no longer, the timing was so weird. Once Ollie passed away, when I started seeing Max and then his cat Piper came into my life and she is just my little munchkin of joy. I love her so much and just her cuddles and her little snuggles and everything. She's just the best. And again, I feel like that was the universe just knowing that I needed that companionship once my dogs were, were gone into the other realm and now I got Pipes and she's the best. The Clara 800 wants to know what I do for fun. That's kind of changed as of late. Not that I don't do the same hobbies that I used to love, but right now, the biggest things consuming my time when I'm not working has to be writing, journaling. I've been organizing a lot of stuff, which for me is fun. I throw on some tunes and get lost in it. I'm an organizational freak, so I love that. Watching television is an amazing way to decompress. And lately I've just been putting on headphones, listening to some groovy tunes, and that just makes me happy. This next question made me giggle. Do you like when Max is calling you Tits McGee? I didn't like it at first, I can tell you that much. Hated it. I hated when he'd call me that, sweetheart. All of that drove me insane when we first met eight years ago. And now that has all changed. Call me Tits McGee whenever you want, babe. <laughs> P.S. I have the questions pulled to the side, so if you see my eyes wandering, that's why. But John is asking, as a Canadian, what's your go-to beer? Molson products or Moosehead? I hate to break it to you, but I don't drink beer. I'm one of those people where with age, my taste buds just did not get used or acquire a taste at all for beer. I don't like it. I don't think I'll ever like it. I do love fruity cocktails now. That is my go-to every single time that I'm out at a bar or even a restaurant, but beer just doesn't do it for me. Ian's asking about a dish I truly love and a dish I despise. We'll start with what I despise. I once had this lemon pasta that served no purpose being a damn dish. <laughs> and that might sound harsh and I might have disdain in my voice, but that's because it was one of those most disgusting things I've ever tasted. So I will not put lemon in my pasta. Something that I love. 
I love pasta when it's good. Earlier tonight, actually, I made a gnocchi with spinach, garlic, heavy cream, a bunch of Italian herbs. Oh gosh, I'm salivating. I want to make it again. There's no leftover, sadly, but it was so, so good. Vinyl or CDs? This one, it's not tricky for me to answer, but I feel like a lot of people would think that I'm more a record person. But you know what's weird? I'm neither. I love Spotify. The fact that I can just listen to singles, listen to full records, do whatever I want on there, I love. You're not tied down to a set 12 tracks. You're not tied down to having to listen to thing in full. You're not tied down to having to be working la di la di da and be like, I don't want to hear this, let's get up and lift the pin. So I'm all for vinyl in a sense where I think the artistry and being able to have that right in front of you and look at it, that is one of the coolest things. And luckily my dad and sister have crazy vinyl collections, so we did that a lot as children. But yeah, I'd have to say neither and just go with streaming. And that wraps it up, folks, the Q&A for the day. Again, thank you to those who submitted questions. These were really fun and cheeky and I had a really good time answering them and hopefully you enjoyed my answers. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. As I mentioned earlier in the video, a lot of new content is dropping. I have three new interviews that are already edited, ready to go. More Q and A's, more facts, the Alicia review. So excited for that to be back. So those are ready to go as well. Lots of good shit, fashion stuff. Ooh. So yeah, get ready, it's coming your way. And until then, I need a nap. Bye.